Hello, is Robert here? Hi, Robert, nice. Um, got a mouthful, yeah. <laughs> oh, you have your CA. Um, that's o that's okay, Terry. Thank you. So I got mixed up as well. It was um, seven o'clock, not not seven thirty. My mistake. Seven o'clock. Okay. I just had my tea now as well, so uh, I I took a chance on it. I, I wasn't sure what time uh, we agreed on, you know. That's all right. But I I, I, I can speak briefly for twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fine. No problem. Thank you. Um. um so I. I see Go on, yeah. Yeah, very curious about the kingdom. Right. What do you? Uh, what conclusion do you come come to on the Holy Spirit after? Um, well, I think we've we've done that, haven't we? We've discussed the Holy Spirit. So. Yeah, but what conclusion did you come to? Did you agree that it's a force? Uh... I think we've discussed the Holy Spirit, and I I don't wish to do you know the same thing every time we speak. Well, we, we, I, you know, the way I look at it, we can't go on like this. We, you know, we got to do something substantial. You, you know, you've got to have an agenda, haven't you, to work by. You can't... Right, well, let's, really, do, a, uh, let's do a different topic each, each, each time we speak. Not the same topic each... Not the same topic each, each week, Terry. Yeah, but you've got to come to a conclusion in your own mind, haven't you? Whether you agree with the Bible or, or disagree, you know? Well, I agree with the Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... But then it's down, you'd say it's down to interpretations. Or am I wrong? Well, I could say the same thing about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. indeed. That's right. I'm, uh, that's, that's fair comment. Yeah. You know, uh, but you know, you've got to come to some sort of conclusion on it. So do that, you uh, want to discuss the kingdom? Because I thought we agreed to discuss the kingdom. Yeah. Right. Well, that's no problem, you know. Um, it's just that I was just uh, checking on how you, because I mean, it's it's like um, you, you know, you know, it can be a, a wall in front of you if you don't agree with uh, certain things. You know, it's, you're in the same position, aren't you? You know, that's the point. You haven't cleared anything out the way. You know. Right. Are you willing to discuss the kingdom, which is what we agreed to discuss this week? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Looking at chapter thirty-three. What will the kingdom accomplish on page 137? Section yeah. 3, do you mind if I read the first three lines? Right, of course, yeah. After the wicked are destroyed, Jesus will rule as king for a thousand years. Right. During that time, he and his 144,000 co-rulers will help humans on earth to become perfect and sinless. Right, yeah. Now, the first thing that puzzled me is I believe Jehovah's Witness literature says that these 144,000 co-rulers, when they're resurrected, they're going to be resurrected as non-human spirit creatures. That's correct, yeah. That is, yeah, good. So that is correct. Judge Rutherford and Fred Franz, and there was a member of the governing body who died a few years ago, Theodore Jerez. He died in 2010. That's right. When they're resurrected, they're going to be resurrected not as human beings, but as non-human spirit creatures. Is as spirit creatures, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right, they'll be alongside Jesus, because Jesus will operate from the heavens. You know, he's not coming back to earth. Um, I so, so, so the kingdom government that we pray for, thine kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So it's already accomplished in the heaven. Jesus is king of God's kingdom. But we're just waiting now for the, for the earth to be cleansed because it said that the devil would come down to you having great anger, knowing that he has a, a short period of time. I, I find it quite hard to accept that these 144,000 co-rulers are going yeah. to be resurrected as non-human spirit creatures. They weren't well, human what... anymore. Yeah. Is, is there um? That's the first thing. Is there a Bible verse for that? Right, okay. And the second thing is, it says during that time, he and his 144,000 co-rulers will help humans on earth to become perfect and sinless. That's right. Now, yeah. I believe that Jesus makes people perfect and sinless. Mark chapter 2 verse 10 says, Jesus says that you may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. 
That's so correct. Jesus yeah. forgives sins. I don't believe that the 144,000, or these anointed Jehovah's Witnesses as they're called. They're also called Brothers of Christ, aren't they? I don't believe they're that they're going to help Jesus to become, help Jesus make people perfect and sinless. And I think that's something that Jesus only does himself. Yeah, well they are part of the new, the government, the kingdom that we, that we pray for. Um, many of them are, are in heaven at this time now with alongside Jesus but the, until the 144,000 are sealed then um, the end of this system doesn't come until the, until the 144,000 because that was the first thing Jesus did when he went back to heaven was to cleanse the heavens that's not remember, he's, relevant to he's my dead, question it's, it's not... he said to the disciples I'm going my way to make a way for you that where I shall be you shall be also this isn't relevant to my question Okay. Well, it is. It is much. It's part of the hundred and forty-four thousand. No, it's, it's not. Huh? It's not. It's not relevant. Your oh. the statement of the book seems to imply. I'll read the statement again. Let's let's listen to it carefully. During that time, he and his one hundred and forty-four thousand co-rulers will help yep. humans on Earth to become perfect and sinless. It seems to. It seems to be that the book is saying that these one hundred and forty-four thousand will be helping Jesus to make the humans resurrected to the earth perfect and sinless well they, they will be on earth won't they? The, the great crowd will be on earth uh, it's not my or, question only the little flock will go to heaven it's not my question do these 144,000 who you say will be resurrected as non-human spirit creatures yes. do they work with Jesus helping to make the people resurrected to the earth, perfect and sinless. In other words, like Jesus, they help to take people's sins away. Well, uh, whether that will be the king, but yes, they'll be working alongside Jesus. Yeah, that's right. That's the, that's the whole purpose, isn't it? Uh, I mean, they also come uh, when he he, he um, deals out vengeance upon those at the end at this time of the end. It says that. Uh, uh, he'll, be, he'll come with his 144,000, you know, in Revelation. I have problems with the claim that these spirit creatures can help people to become perfect and sinless because I believe that Jesus makes people perfect and Jesus takes away people's sins, thereby making people perfect and sinless. I don't believe that any angel or spirit creature or human being can do that. That's the basis of the Catholic priesthood. In the Catholic well, priesthood, they, they, they believe that a man called a Catholic priest has been best blessed by a bishop, appointed by a bishop, and the bishop's been appointed by the Pope, and the Pope, they claim, has been appointed by Jesus with the authority to take people's sins away. So yes, if you commit a I... sin, you go to the Catholic priest. And he'll give you a bit of bread and he'll tell you it's the body and blood of Jesus. Yeah, or you go into a box correct, called yeah. a confessional. Or if you haven't been baptized, you can be baptized by the Catholic priest. And these sacraments that the Catholic priest does takes your sins away. Now it seems to be here in your book that your book is saying that these 144,000 co-rulers will work with Jesus to make people sinless. Rather like that's a similar claim to the claim of the Catholics. And they're not doing this by teaching Bible studies and giving people Bible literature, because if, if they were doing that, it would mention the great crowd. The book would read something like this. It would say, during that time, Jesus and the great crowd and the 144,000 will help humans on earth to become perfect and sinless by giving them Bible studies and, and, and distributing Bibles. It, it doesn't. It doesn't say that. It doesn't no, mention the no. great crowd. <clears throat> this is why we got the work at the moment of um, preaching the good news of the kingdom, isn't it? And um, making disciples of people of all the nations. So, do the hundred and forty-four thousand co-rulers, these anointed ones, who you say are resurrected, not as human beings but as spirit, spirit, spirit yes, creatures, yes. do they help people to take? Do they help to take people's sins away? thereby making I'll, people sinless. I'll have to check on that because uh, I haven't come across that. I know that they work alongside Jesus Christ and uh, whether they'll be given that authority to do that is, um, you know, um, 
obviously at the moment, as you rightly said, uh, Jesus Christ holds that position, doesn't he? Uh, when he was on earth, he he, he done the miracles and uh, he performed the miracles and uh, he had the ability to raise the dead. So, um, you know, uh, he has he has the power. You're right, you know, you're right there. Um, but these 144,000 will, will work alongside Jesus as a heavenly body. My question is, how do they work alongside Jesus? Do they work alongside right, okay. Jesus taking people's sins away? So that's the point we want to make yeah. uh, later on. Then. Yeah. Okay, lovely. I'll just, uh, you know, gen up on it to make sure I'm not saying the wrong thing because we okay. never want to say the wrong thing. Okay, It's got to be right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, the book, I'm surprised your book does not mention the 1919 date. Well, it's, it's an interesting date, 1919, because that was when, um, actually, after post-1919, Babylon the Great actually fell, as much as uh, uh, she had no more power over Jehovah's people. Um, she cannot uh, uh, stop the, the, the work that's going on, the preaching work, and... Um, but this will go on right to the end till Jehovah says that's enough, you know. So, um, yeah. The the claim is that Jesus did an inspection and a cleansing work between 1914 and 1919. Yes. And he cleansed the organization of its errors and then he appointed the Watchtower Society as his sole representative in 1919. Now, have I got that right? Right, yeah, yeah. And yet the book, as far as I know, it doesn't mention 1919, which surprised me a little bit. It mentions 1914 uh, in chapter 32, I think, but it doesn't mention the 1919 date, and I, I was wondering why. Right, OK. Yeah. I can get that for you. Yeah. No problem. Is there any biblical proof for the 1919 date? Right. Well, uh, that's, that, that's, that'll be another study, because... Um, that that, that uh, needs um, sort of getting your head around, you know. But um, yes, there is a there is proof that uh, in 1919. But then it's coming to believe that uh, Jehovah has um, and Jesus Christ has um, the, the anointed ones, you know. And uh, they stood up for the um, they are, they were actually imprisoned. Um, the, the ones the governing body at that time were imprisoned in 1919. And, and on, they were imprisoned uh, in 1918. No, they were imprisoned in 1918. They were released in 1919. Right, released in 1919. Then, yeah. yeah, but they—they they were. Uh, it was false charges, and they were released. And ever since that time, um, Babylon the Great, the world uh, false religion, has no hold over Jehovah's people. You know, Do and you... Jehovah will see to it that uh, that this is carried forward and. Uh, mm. Do you have any proof for that, Terry, or...? Yes, yes. Well... This is why, you know, <coughs> I know you don't, you don't agree with it, but if you study systematically, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. All the pieces fall in. But, you know, if you put in little bits out here and there, uh, you've got no context there at all, you know? Um, it, it needs, it's just like a jigsaw puzzle. You need to put the pieces in, and the, the way you do that is to to get the background uh, information and then um, base your uh, decision on the on the whole thing, you know, rather than. Uh... But I can see I can see where you're coming from, you know, that you feel strongly about certain things, you know, and uh, that's that's fair comment, you know. Would you be willing next time we speak to show me from the Bible the 1919 date? Yes. Not to be deviated by anything else. Right. Just to focus on that, Terry. Okay. All right. Um, shall I book? Shall I say seven o'clock next Friday on Friday the seventeenth? Yeah, that would be fine. Seven o'clock. I'll put that down. now to make sure I got it. Got it down. There was a little bit of confusion. I think. I'm, uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I'll. Um, I look forward to that. Okay. Thank you. And you'll be able to show me from the the Bible the nineteen nineteen date. Well, I'll be able to. Show you, uh, it doesn't actually, but I'll be able to show you how, how we come to that, uh, how we come to that date. Okay, but of course, if you can't prove it from the Bible, I'm under no obligation to believe no, it. No, no, I know, I If know, a I Mormon feel... comes to you and says the Book of Mormon is the Word of God and Joseph Smith is a prophet of God, 
and you say, could you please prove that Joseph Smith is a prophet and the Book of Mormon is true from the Bible? Oh, that's true. If that's they true. say they can't do that, then you're under no obligation to listen to them or have anything to do with them. No, quite correct. Okay. And the thing is, you know, uh, Robert, uh, the thing is, is that, um, you, you know, we always want to speak the truth. And, and the thing is, is that, um, you, you know, you can't um, peddle the word of God, you know, it's got to be pure and, and true, you know. All right. And Okay. All right. Well, look, you know, if, if it's thank not, you. Be, I, I, go on, yeah. All right. Well, look, thank you, Terry. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you then next um um, Friday at 7, 7 p.m. At 7 o'clock. I'll put that down now then. But we agreed right. to, to, to that to just discuss one topic, the 1919 date. Yeah. So why, why are you so what you call about, uh, you know, about, about having links or anything like that, you know? You've um, got to discuss things, haven't you, to, to be able to come to a conclusion. Yes, I'm willing to discuss the 1919 date next Friday at 7, yeah. Yeah. But you don't accept any any links or anything. Uh, so you think I, I, I I I can give you, look. I do dialogue. I don't. I don't do monologue. How would no. you feel it if if you had people spamming you continuously, okay, with links and then thousand word text and a two thousand word text yeah, and yeah, more I links and more links. Text, yeah. That's how most religious people act. Most religious people don't know what well, they're talking about. I'm not one of those. So they, they give come. you links. They, they they send you texts which they've copied and pasted. Now, well, there were a couple of things that I thought might have been of interest to you. I to do them. one thing at a time and one thing only, and I will deal in dialogue. Right, OK. Right. I, I'm yeah. not doing 50 topics, OK? So no, it, no, we, I, we I, agree... I, 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 that the next week we're going to look at 1919 and you'll show right. me from the Bible the 1919 date. Well, we'll work it out anyway from the Bible, yeah. All right, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank Thanks, you very much, Terry. That's lovely. Thank you, Robert. All the best. Thank you, Terry. See you, see you next week, then. Okay? See you next week. Bye. Bye now. Bye now.